All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yashirala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Hebrew and Shalom, Labachorium, Wabarakim, Shayashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashawim Kodash. And the name of this lesson is going to be called uh, a, a, a Famine is Coming Back. All right? Famine, which is a shortage of of food and water all right that's gonna come back here man and it's gonna hit babylon the great aka america in a big way all right so the first piece that we're gonna grab is the book of second edges the 15th chapter i'm gonna start at the first and second verse and i'm gonna skip on down this is second edges chapter 15 verse 1 it says behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy see and uh, who is the Lord's people? The Lord's people are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, as well as the Israelite foreigners. All right, all 12 tribes, according to the seed of their fathers. And the words of prophecy would be the Bible, all right? Because this book got prophecies in it that actually came to pass and is going to come to pass in the times that we're living in now. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. See? Because we're the messengers of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. So the message that we come with is from Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. All right? Starting off with the head apostles and the bishops on down. Okay? We speak according to the words, the word, the words of the Lord. Verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. See? And what's faithful and true in the Bible? The prophecies, man. Because the prophecies of old, we know actually came to pass because Esau, even the so-called white race, uh, mainly the elites, actually dug up different biblical, um, how should I say, records of what uh, is written in the Bible uh, 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 and, uh, and actually proved that it, uh, that, it, that it actually happened. Like during the time of Moses, they actually got uh, the Egyptian chariots, you know what I'm saying, under the sea, all right, which shows that that event, the first exodus actually happened. But nonetheless, let's go to the, let's start at the, uh, let's start at the 17th verse. This is 2nd Edges 15 to 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. See, going into those checkpoints. Why is that? Because of martial law, a.k.a. Jacob's trouble. All right, you're going to have troops, you know what I'm saying, in uh, different parts of the city patrolling where people are going to go or where they can't go. Why? Because you're gonna have at you're gonna to have to need access. Either you're gonna to have that uh that, that that spider juice or the MOTB, man. You see, if you don't got it, hey, you can't enter. Verse 18. Because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. See, the scripture says because of their pride. That that's what was going into camp. Alright? Pride. Go before destruction. That's one of the main reasons why this place, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed because it promotes nothing but pride, man. And that's one. Of, that's the one. That's the first thing that Yahweh Bashim Asha hates when you read Proverbs six and sixteen. A proud look. The Lord hates pride. It says, "And men shall be afraid." So all the tough guys, all the so-called uh, military soldiers, you know, they're going to be afraid, man. All right, when all hell breaks loose. According to the Bible, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Yep, see, your next door neighbor that um, you've been living beside for years, you know what I'm saying, uh, you so-called good buddies, guess what? That's going to change, man, real quick, all right? Especially with this famine hits, you know, the actual famine of food and water, you know, dealing with hyperinflation, you know, so on and so forth. These neighbors ain't going to have pity upon each other, you know, and the scripture's about to go into it. The Lord Yahweh Shah said, because iniquity shall abound, which iniquity means sin upon sin, the love of many shall wax cold. And it says, uh, and shall destroy their houses with the sword, right? Any any killer instrument. 
whether it be a bat, whether it be a gun, whether it be a knife, all right, whether it be a, a crowbar, all right, whether it be an axe, you know, so on and so forth. It says, and spoil their goods. Yeah, plunder, all right? Pretty much plunder goes into taking something that somebody has by force. And that's what's going to be happening, man. People are going to be getting jacked up, man. And it says, and because, it's like a, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, see, because of lack of bread, a.k.a. that famine. And this is going to hit very, very soon, sooner than what people think, man. You already got the prices of food going up uh, by the week, all right? You got things, you got foods and items that, that used to be on shelves a lot, and they ain't being restocked, man. You see? that We're getting, we're getting closer and closer to that famine. All right, which goes back to hungry. All right, so now we're gonna go from there. As a matter of fact, I actually want to be in a quick historical kind of uh, commentary on that. This is the book of uh, let's see, this is the book of Lamentations. Let's see, um, Lamentations chapter four. I'll go to verse nine. This is Lamentations four verse nine. It says, they that be slain with the sword, which is any killing instrument, a gun, a knife, you know, wherever somebody can pick up and do damage to somebody, is better than they than be slain with hunger. Right, see? So it's a person that gets put to death, all right, because somebody uh, uh, put them to flight with a, with a weapon, are better than they, or better off than they that are still alive, but they don't have uh, food or water, man. So their body is, um, uh, 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 matter of fact, it's about to say it. It says, and this, what's going to cause the hunger? Because of famine, which is a slow and painful death. It says, for these shall pine away. What's going to pine away? The bodies, man. The body's going to be literally eaten at itself. The stomach's going to be touching these people's back, man. All right? Well, we know according to the Bible, the servants of Yahweh Bashim and which we're hoping to be those servants, they're going to, we're going to eat. And we're going to drink, man, while the rest of these people are catching hell, you know what I'm saying, is judgment from the Lord. All right. It says, uh, for these pine away, stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. And that word want mean a lack. So stricken through for the lack of the fruits, a.k.a. the food, the water of the field, man. Why is that? Because of famine. Okay. And that's going to come back, man. And it's going to be worse than it was before in history. All right. It's going to make the look like the Great Depression look like a, a, a kindergarten class, you know, a cakewalk. So I had a quick commentary on that, actually. It says, Lamentations uh, 4, 10. Okay. Or it says 1 through 10. It says, When a city was under siege, the city wall built for protection. Seal the people inside. You can see that when you watch these ancient uh ancient uh world shows, man. All right, you have a fortified city, you got walls around it to uh keep it from outside uh enemies. It says they could not get out of the fields to get food or water because the enemy was camped around the city. And I did not just read that in second address, okay. A man shall desire to go into a city and not be able. Why? Because they're going to have them troops there, man. Okay? With, with AR-15s, with different LMGs, assault rifles, ready to kill that will, man, if you don't comply. All right? Or if you don't give the right answer. Or haul you off to a concentration camp. It says, as food in the city ran out, the people watched their enemies harvest and eat the foods in the fields. See? Yeah. You see? You know? Because the elites, you know what I'm saying, are those that are under the elites, they're going to be in good case, man. But the rest of you people that are in here, you know what I'm saying, that are uh, the common citizens, you're going to be starved out, man. Because the elites don't give a crap about y'all, man. You know, their own people. All right? And darn sure don't give a damn about Israel, the two-thirds, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, nor these other heathen nations that are here. It says, the siege was a test of wills to see 
who could outlast the other. Jerusalem was under siege for two years. It says life became so harsh that people ate their own children, a.k.a. cannibalism, and dead bodies were left to rot in the street. See, and those dead bodies are going to be rotting in the streets, you know, them birds, the fowls of the air, they're going to be eating them, man. Okay. And it's going to get even worse than that in these times. So uh, people that are seeing dead bodies on the street, they're going to eat them, man. Okay. The cannibalism is going to come back worse than it was back then. Okay. And it says all hope was gone. See, you all hope for the ones who didn't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Hope for them was gone. But for the elect of the nation of Israel and those that got the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible, this is going to uh, keep us stable. All right. As a matter of fact, let's get uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Deuteronomy, let me see. Um, select it. Deuteronomy. Uh, give me a second. Deuteronomy, yep, Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Uh, let's see. I'll go straight to the point. Now, in fact, I saw the verse 50. Deuteronomy 28, verse 50. It says, A nation of a fierce countenance, which shall stand, which shall not regard the persons of the old, a.k.a. the elderly, nor show favor to the young, a.k.a. the children. Okay. And then this is going into the Edomites, okay? Starting off with the Romans, man, because that's what they did, all right? And they're going to do the same thing in these times, but it's going to be worse. It's going to be way worse than 70 AD. Verse 51, it says, And he shall eat, he, and he shall eat the fruit of, the, of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land, until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee neither corn, wine or oil or the increase of thy kind or flocks of thy sheep to he have destroyed thee going into the siege of 70 AD man in the times that we're living in now what Yahweh Shah said it's going to be even worse than that verse 52 it says that he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until the high and defense walls come down wherein thou trustedest throughout all thy land and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which Yahweh thy power have given thee. See? So, hey, y'all, uh, y'all about Shema Shah about to send this devil to have great wrath. That's that Revelation 12 and 12 right there. Verse 53, it says, And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, the flesh of thy children, I mean, the flesh of thy sons and thy daughters, a.k.a. children, which the Lord Yahweh thy power have given thee in the siege and in the straightness, aka the distress, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee. See? So back then it was the Romans, you know, and the same spirits are back here today in this revival of the ancient Roman Empire, man. All right? But it's going to be even worse, man, than it was back then. So yeah, family was coming back, man, according to the Bible, man. So hey. These people about to start doing cannibalism and loving me about to wax even colder. So Lord's window is edifying through the spirit. Till next time I say Shalom.